Maybe I'm not. It'd be funny if I forgot my rope. Mine's yet. Guys, good morning. How are we? Look where we're at. We're on top of a mountain. Not quite yet. The top of the mountain would be up there. But we are going to go get on that lift and ride it to mostly the top of the mountain. And then we're going to shoot probably 25 targets coming down. You guys ready? Yes. Jump up, buddy. Jump up. You ready, bud? Hold on tight. So Winston decided to wear his Robin Hood shoes today, huh? So you sh you'll shoot like Robin Hood. So this is, I think, I believe the third annual Pebble Creek shoot sponsored by Pocatel Field Archers. That's obviously where I'm a member of. And then this is the local ski mountain. So. Uh, I think I just talked to the guy that puts this on and they're gonna try and do it They used to do it earlier in July, but this year that got pushed back to the end of July, which I think is better And uh, I think they're gonna keep the same date. So next year guys if you want to do a really cool Fun shoot that's not as intense as Toll Archery Challenge. Toll Archery Challenge is a lot longer um, But this is a pretty darn steep mountain but this is, I think, 20 or 25 targets, but it's just a little shorter hike down. I think it's probably a couple miles is all, compared to some of the total archery challenges are like five, six miles. But if you're looking to do one of these shoots, definitely look into doing this one. Uh, look at Pocatel Field Archers or Pebble Creek Ski Area next year, uh, early summer to find out the dates, but I would definitely, I'd highly recommend this one. Number one, just got off the chairlift. It's a wild boar. About to shoot it right in the head. My elbow. Just kidding. You almost skipped it there. Wow. Yes. Are you aiming? What? Whoa. Good shooting, bud. Got him. Okay, I need to shoot no, that, that again. Was the air. Got him. Dad. So something I like to do, especially leading up to the hunt, is I like to shoot. So I my the way my bow set up is 20, 30, 40, and then I got a slider. I can slide out to 100. But I like to shoot ranges at like 20 with my uh, when it's set at like 45 yards, which the last target was. So I know if a bull comes in and I'm ranging them at at 40 and it comes into you know. 22 or something that I can use that, that pin to see where I would hit just so I know kind of where the bow's shooting. Make it. Got him. That's kind of where I would have hit. Bear charging right at you. Got to shoot him before he eats us. Hurry. You <laughs> where did that go? <laughs> at the very top of that rock. He skipped it off the top of his back. Where were you aiming? Below his shoulder. He's yep. charging us. You got to kill him. Got to kill him. Oh. Killed him. This is the one I like. Very realistic shot. September 16th. Been chasing a herd of bull elk all day, all morning. Finally get close enough to the herd to piss the bull off. He turns around. The cows are just down in the meadow. He turns around to come fight you. You set up right here. Bull walks out. How far? 60. 60 on the dot? 60 yards. Are you going to hit it? Are you going to capitalize on your opportunity? Winston. And Winston's gonna pee before he kills the bull first, okay? So uh, I decided I've been shooting all summer at 75, 74, 64 pounds. And uh, I decided this morning that I was gonna crank my bow all the way to 70. So my slider is just a little bit off. So I'm doing a lot of calculating in my head. That's just my excuse if I miss, okay? Get him, Dad. Oh my gosh, you didn't hear the arrow break behind him. He's still there. Look, there's a can. Yeah, I'm shooting way high. Like, eight inches high. Check your pan, nose to the string. Check your bubble. Fire. 
See how he shot like four feet low? I shot above his back. Oh, we'll drop right below his belly. Ooh. All right in the head. Headshot. Well, let's look at the damage. See, there's a lot of carnage behind this one. Actually, it doesn't look like a broken arrow, just a bent tip. Ooh, look at this. Bummer deal. Brand new pink arrow done. Gage with the vortex tells how far. 19. 19. It's a really cool shot off of a cliff, a double cliff. Bedded ram. All right, we made the target 14. This is what we like to call do or die. You either hit this thing or say bye-bye, c'est la vie, adios to your arrow. Looks like a black's buck or a gin's buck. It's a buck of some sort, just straight granite rock behind. And you're up first. I thought you were supposed to aim high. Ouch. Adios, amigo. Do or die, ready? Perfect. I think I had a 12 ring there, bud. 37? 37? Yeah. What goat. is it? Mountain goat? Is this a do or die? Yes. Okay, do it or die. Daddy. Yes, bud. We'll shoot that one next. Very realistic shot. Mountain goat in the rocks. Oh, sorry. Sorry. 36 yards. Whoa! Oh, I think you got leg. You got foam though. Foam is home. Foam is home. Is that any orange? It is a moose at 83 yards. Uh, like I said earlier, I cranked my boat today, okay, okay. so yeah. everything past 40 is really a guesstimate. So I hope I guesstimated correctly on this one. If I miss, your arrow's long gone. All right, 83. Just low. Foam is down. Give me another wide arrow. That was fun. I love also, making those targets. Also, get your hush flushing is on hush.com. <laughs> it's get hushing.com. Get hushing.com. If you're going to do shameless plugs, get them right. <laughs> Got him right where I wanted. All right, I'm doing it. You're doing it? Bradley's yep. doing it. So I need to aim like above the trees? Got it? Uh, yeah. What the? Dang it. Higher. One more time. Whoa. Like a foot above his head. Okay. Yeah, I want, I, want, I want to try this, Dad. If I lose an arrow, I know a guy. I don't know what it is about kids, but there's like, the further it is, like the more they'll want to take the shot. Like it could be 50 or 60 and be like, oh, let's scoot up. 70 plus, they're like, yeah, I want to try that. I shot 100. It's a freaking I want to bomb one out there. <sighs> Just low. Them. Well, we did it. We shot all 20 targets. How'd we do, Gage? Good. Only lost three yards. Only three? Mm -hmm. I only missed one target. It was that stupid bull at 60 yards. Bomb me out. I shot actually really good today. Better than I shot an attack event, so I'm how'd you do? I'm really good at that event, but I got a weapon because I got my brother and I shot a, a panther. Awesome. Yeah, he stole my arrow and then shot a panther. But most importantly, we were saved. Even happened. more important than that, did we have fun? We were saved, but we had fun, laughed, enjoyed some time together in the woods. 
not better. What, what should I do, Bray? Like, comment, and subscribe. And hit hit your post notification bell. Thank you. I don't even know what that means. Okay. All right, guys. Later.